All right guys, brand new house. I'm gonna talk about it for the first time. It's just dropping, actually. The fragrances will launch soon. But the discovery set I have here, I've never smelled them. It's Mind Games. If you wanna find out about them, I'm gonna do first impressions of a set of 10 fragrances in this discovery kit, very large. Find out about them, coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in, this is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Mind Games, a new house that's going to launch very soon. The actual discovery set has now launched. It's available at So Avant Garde, uh, and I have a link in the info box. You can get them. It's a limited edition, thousand kits only, thousand discovery kits only, and it is uh, numbered. So uh, depending on what kit I have here, I don't know, but they are numbered and there's only a thousand available. The brand will actually launch at Neiman Marcus and uh, also at So Avant Garde, which is um, linked in the info box, as I said. And this brand is from the folks who distribute such brands as uh, Tiziana Terenzi, Quinto Canto, Nishane, and many others that are listed on the So Avant Garde website. So I've referred you guys over there for various uh, brands and uh, sales and things like that they're doing. And so now they're launching Mind Games and I'm gonna tell you all about these fragrances. I've never smelled them. This was actually also sent to me. I'm going to give you my honest opinions about these fragrances. The fragrances, as I said, are going to be selling at Neiman Marcus, I think sometime within the next month or two. And uh, also at So Avant Garde, they're going to be ex ray de Parfum Concentration, so highly concentrated perfumes and uh, very well-known perfumers, uh, master perfumers behind the fragrances. Before I let you know all about Mind Games, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Are you familiar with this house? As I said, they're brand new. I've been seeing some info come up on Instagram here and there on the fragrance groups accounts and maybe even so avant-garde's account I can't remember exactly the fragrance group is a distributor that distributes Tiziana Terenzi and Nishane and uh, other brands uh, similar to those brands and of course so avant-garde is their online retail store and of course they not only sell uh, you know their own distributor brands they sell other brands as well and this is a brand new house they're launching uh, so let's go ahead and find out all about this Mind Games links the complex artistry best embodied by the strategy and brilliance of chess with the innovative and hypnotic effects of perfumery. The result is an inaugural fragrance line that delivers a scent wardrobe of extreme olfactive signatures. These niche fragrances are created by master perfumers housed in statuesque bottles. Each note is carefully considered and selected, performing an essential role in the grand scheme, comprising a collection as layered, nuanced, and insightful as the ideas that inspired them. So I said these are going to be sold at Neiman Marcus very soon as soon as the fragrances drop they'll drop there and of course I have the limited edition discovery set here they're gonna be also sold at so avant-garde and this is where it's selling currently it's 10 fragrances 8 ml $495 limited edition numbered discovery set uh, only a thousand as I said and these are all extra the parfum concentration shall we open this up and look at them the box came in a huge box, so uh, it was delivered in my house, so I had to bring this box over here to the studio, and it was quite big. Um, this box does have the Mind Games logo work on it. I think it's upside down, or is it? We'll find out. Um, but let's dig in. Uh, I haven't smelled these, and again, this is a brand spanking new house. I don't know what we're going to get as far as the fragrances go. Uh, I'm very, very curious about these fragrances. I'm always looking forward to new fragrances and concepts. I like the concept here with the chess. That's quite interesting. I have seen some of their bottles online and uh, I haven't really held the bottles myself and I like the whole chess thing. So mind games, let's remove the plastic. Uh, let's see, can you see all that all the way? Let's focus. Can we focus? On the back, the fragrances. I know it's a little bright here. On the front here, there's a little something, a little signature with a date, July 12, it says. So let's open this up. So here's what's inside so far. Look at that. 
Is it beautiful or what? It's very nicely organized. I'm hoping I'm gonna like these fragrances. There's this really, well, not a big book, but somewhat of a big book. And in here, so it is signed in here as well, as you can see. I don't know if that's focusing or not. So this is six of 200, whatever that means. I thought there was supposed to be a thousand. But here's what the bottles look like. They're all gonna be different bottles. That's one bottle. And there's a white collection and a dark bottle collection, I believe. Yeah, like this. This one's a pretty nice looking bottle right there. There's this one. So the bottles look kind of cool, and uh, I wonder if we're going to be able to play chess with these bottles. That'd be kind of cool if there's a chess board. So let's go ahead and open this up further. So this, this thing comes off, and then here are, here are the fragrances. They're 8 ml. I hope they don't fall out. So the names are on the fragrances, I think, right? They seem to be. What is this? I think these are strips. I hope they are. Yes, they're strips. If I can get them out. <laughs> I got them out. Yeah, so it does come with its own strips, which is kind of cool. I was going to go ahead and grab my own strips, but we'll use the Mind Games strips. So why don't we go ahead and start with Grandmaster. That's this one right here. Very shiny. The atomizers are nice. I like this. You can take these along on a travel with them. So Grandmaster, it says Rose Absolute and Coffee. Ooh, what does that sound like? We'll go with three uh, sprays. I like three sprays. So initially, I thought it was gonna smell like intense cafe. It's not quite. I don't find that milky creaminess here with Grandmaster. And I like the combination of the dry coffee, more like the coffee beans rather than drip coffee already brewed and everything uh, with that rose. Initial blast was very rosy. And of course the coffee developed. So, I would say some, this is something in between something like Intense Cafe, a Little Song by Mio Ficcioni, even something like the now discontinued Cafe Tuberosa from uh, Atelier, Atelier Cologne, drawing a blank. They've already pulled out of the USA and I already forgot about them. I like this one. I like these kind of fragrances. The, the contrast, a gourmand with a rose, uh, definitely a great uh, contrast. The next one is Gardet, or is it Gardez? I think it's Gardet because I think there's a fragrance called Gardemois, similar spelling. This is Black Leather and Oris. I like Leather and Oris together. They work really beautifully. Very interesting. This, uh, this is definitely leathery and iris, orisy, but there's something shiny about it, like a polished, experienced back there. So the leather doesn't seem very animalic, but I'm assuming that'll develop into becoming more animalic on the skin versus on the strip. But for now, this sounds, this smells great actually. I prefer the Rose Absolute and Coffee over the Black Leather and Oris for, uh, for Gardet. Grandmaster is the first one with Rose Absolute and Coffee. Gardet is Black Leather and Oris. But this is developing nicely. Quite nicely. Um, these are definitely very luxurious smelling fragrances so far, what I've experienced. Um, I'm not saying that these are truly original. I smell so many fragrances, but when you guys put your noses on these fragrances, you might think that they're very original, but I do like both of them so far. So the next one is Scholar's Mate. I don't think you can see the names of these, unfortunately, but uh, they're at the bottom. Um, Scholar's Mate is Woody Aromatic Floral. The only thing I don't like about the shininess of these bottles is they're very, like, they take on uh, the impression of my fingers. So. This, to me, does hint at something I already know. It's a little bit of a reminder of Le Labo Santal 33. I'm assuming it's the papyrus or cypriol note in here that kind of is standing out, or maybe it's the sandalwood, but it's considered a woody aromatic floral. This one is not a favorite of mine, but it's done well. It's definitely done well. Next up, it's Double Attack. This one says it's a citrus woody edible. Let's see how that is. 
Ooh, this one's quite sexy. Something about it is like really, really sexy. Citrus woody edible. There we go with the gourmand kind of uh, experiences. It doesn't fully act like a gourmand to me, but there's something delicious and sexy about it. Double attack. I like the name too. That one's definitely a winner for me. Better than, I think it's my favorite out of all of them. I'd have to wear these to make sure, but as far as smelling them, that is my favorite. Double Attack, followed by Grandmaster, followed by Garday, followed by Scholar's Mate. Uh, the next one is Jadoub. That's what it's called. Right there, I don't need to show you those because they're all the same. Jadoub is pomegranate and suede. I've been waiting for pomegranate to really kind of become popular as a note. Maybe it will be. So for me, this one is fruity, but it doesn't wow me. I mean, I don't hate it. It's not bad. I'm assuming it's gonna be different on my skin, but there's something very playful and childish with the whole fruitiness of the pomegranate contrasted with the suede. So we've got like this kind of two sides, a young side and a, and a mature side kind of a thing happening here. Uh, it's not a, although it's kind of developing. These are definitely going to be totally different on skin. Uh, first reactions are what I'm actually telling you guys. For me, the first reaction was very, very young and playful with the blast of pomegranate. It's it's developing and the, the childfulness, the playfulness is kind of disappearing and it's becoming much mature. But it doesn't, it's, it's not wowing me right up top. Double attack is my favorite so far still. Um, let's move on to... Checkmate. This one sounds really great. Tabak, Bourbon, and Santal. Ooh, that does sound really good. So far, um, the fragrances don't remind me of other fragrances except for the Scholar's Mate. It reminded me of Le Labo's uh, Santal 33. Grandmaster, I think the idea might be similar to other rose coffee fragrances, but it didn't remind me of uh, anything definitely like clone-ish or something. So these don't seem like they're totally ripped off. They seem fairly original, except for the fact that uh, the Scholar's Mate did uh, remind me of uh, Santal 33. So Checkmate is Tabac, Bourbon and Santal. I like the idea of tobacco and boozy, you know, bourbon note. Ooh, yeah. I'm not getting much of a booziness though on this one. I'm gonna put this one on actually, Checkmate. Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's good. That's really good on skin. Wow, it's kind of subdued on the card for some reason. Wow. That's delicious. So checkmate and double attack so far are my favorites. Wow. That's yum. Okay. Moving on. I sprayed a bunch on the, the, the actual atomizers. Now they got all, um, you know, smudgy. So Kaisa is the next one. Kaisa is a floral, white floral and floral woody fragrance. Sounds like it, sounds like a feminine name. Not that there's anything bad with wearing flowers. I always enjoy white flowers. In, in the last three, four years, I've really opened up the white flowers and I really enjoy them. This seems like a tuberose forward fragrance. In that whole ballpark of something like Dosan, um, Carnal Flower. So this one kind of hints at those kind of fragrances, whereas uh, Scholar's Mate hinted at something like Santal 33. This one also reminds me of other fragrances. I'm still thinking about Checkmate. Checkmate is really, really delicious. Okay, but Kaisa is nice and beautiful as well. It's just, it reminds me of the, those kind of fragrances like Dosan from Diptyque and Carnal Flower from Frederick Mall. So the next fragrance, Azuli's Diamond. So let's see what that one's all about. But it does say woody aromatic incense. Wow, this one's quite nice, actually. I'm surprised. Wow, this is quite nice. Asuli's Diamond, probably my third favorite. Asuli's Diamond, Checkmate, Double Attack, a really great followed by Grandmaster. Wow, that is quite nice, uh, Asuli's Diamond. So next fragrance is Blockade. It's this one. This is the second to the last fragrance. This is a woody, leathery, fruity. Oh boy, 
I like the fruit in this. Kind of reminds me of something like a Zerzhov or a Terenzi kind of a fruitiness with woods and leather, but not quite anything I've smelled. It has that reminder, but I like this one a lot too. Blockade. Yeah, I can't wait to put these to use. This is really nice. Uh, I'm actually quite impressed with the quality of these fragrances. The one that didn't really do it for me is Scholar's Mate, as I said, and then the Jadub uh, were kind of uh, not my favorites. The rest of them are okay, but with some being really great. Final fragrance is Castling. This one's a woody, floral, fruity. Reminds me of leather. This one's not bad either. It's got a greenness about it, like a green leather experience. I don't know where, the, where, I'm, getting, where I'm getting leather from. Not bad. So, so far pretty impressed with the quality of these fragrances. My favorites are Scholar's Mate, the Woody Aromatic Floral, Checkmate, the Tabak Bourbon and Santal, Azuli's Diamond, the Woody Aromatic Incense, and Blockade and Castling were really nice as well. I don't care for Jadoub at all. I think uh, I've made my mind about that. I just don't care for it. I don't like the, I don't like that pomegranate and suede combination. I don't know. I really like fruity fragrances, but this one, I'm not 100% sure about. I'd have to try it out. And then, of course, uh, Scholar's Mate was... Wait, I think I said it wrong. Double Attack is my favorite, not Scholar's Mate. Did I say that wrong? I forget. Scholar's Mate, I, I don't care for. It does remind me a lot of Santal 33, and I don't need a fragrance that smells like Santal 33 because I'm not the biggest fan of it. But uh, really, really great with the Double Attack. It's quite yummy. I mean, the thing with these are I'm going to have to try them on skin. The only one I'm trying on skin is Checkmate, and it smells delicious. It smells great on there, too. The Kaisa. It's definitely Dosan or to, um, uh, what do you call it, um, Carnal Flower. Azuli's Diamond is nice. And then finally, uh, Blockade. That's quite nice. Castling. I think I prefer Blockade over Castling. Castling is nice too. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to the beginning here. Grandmaster, Rose Absolute and Coffee. Um, it seems like it's gotten darker. There's no milkiness here. It's definitely the black coffee experience, not like uh, Intense Cafe where it gets all milky, creamy. And then finally, the Garday. Yeah. Uh, Garday seems like toasted leather, like little charred leather with a powdery quality. Really good collection. I'm quite impressed with the quality of these. And those are my first impressions and thoughts. I really want to explore the collection further and look into the bottles as well. Uh, they'll be landing at, uh, you know, at Solomon Guard soon. And then, of course, Neiman Marcus is going to be selling these. Uh, I believe sometime within the next month or two, they'll be there. Um, so you guys can go check them out. But what are your thoughts on these fragrances now that I've gone through them? Do they sound exciting to you? And if they do, which fragrance sounds great to you? As I said, the, the kit is limited edition. There's a thousand of these kits available. And I have a link to where you can get the kit in the info box. Go there. If you want to buy a kit, you can. There's actually no discount on these kits, unfortunately, because it is limited edition. And there's only a thousand of these kits available. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this collection what do you think of another brand another luxury brand that's coming out soon what do you think about the whole chess theme what do you think about the bottles uh, that i showed you in the book put some comments down so i can find out either way i appreciate you tuning in as i said if you have any questions or comments please list below please like this video please share it follow me on instagram and facebook and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye